Okay, so because you guys requested it, you wanted to see us do more of this insane show, uh, Angel and I are going to watch, we're just going to start from the beginning. Yep. We're, we're going to watch season one, episode so. one of the TV show Baggage, Baggage. with uh, Jerry Springer. Yeah. So uh, if you guys want us to do another one of these, I'll announce it at the beginning of the video because... Nobody seemed to pay attention at the end of the last video. Um, either that or else, like a third of the people didn't want us to do another newlywed game oh. because we said 15 upvotes and we'd get it. Yeah. And we had 28 people and it took us three days to get the 15 upvotes. Oh. So. That face. I love the newlywed game. You want to go higher with baggage? Let's see, go higher with let's baggage. Let's see how many, let's see how many people really want to see us do this again. 20 upvotes on the comment that says, upvote this if you want us to watch another episode of Baggage. The Sound first good? one was fantastic. The first one was a fucking train wreck. <laughs> and I'm hoping that this one isn't any worse. This one? This one's I'm good. hoping this one's going to be just as, just as good. Season one, episode one. And we're doing our best to make sure that you guys can hear both Angel and I, but... You I know. talk quieter than he does. Yeah, and well, so, and she's further back. So it is what it is. All right. So here we go. We're Real. gonna let's go. Let's go. Season one, episode one. The title is Unsinkable. This is Kristen. She's got a secret and it's hidden inside this red bag. Is she a phone sex operator? Does she demand a prenup? Or did she lose half a million dollars in Las Vegas? We'll open up this bag and many, many more. I don't see a problem, honestly, with any of those. I mean, except for the major money loss. Yeah, that could be a gambling problem. Half a million lost. Well, here's the thing. She may have went in with $200. Right. And got up to half a million. Right. And then, and then lost, lost it. it all. So yeah. really, right. she only lost a hundred bucks. Months right. Of like to discover. Well, welcome to Baggage, where we help singles find love no matter what secrets and dirty laundry lurk in their lives. Right now, let's meet our lucky dater. She's a graphic designer from Chicago. Please welcome Kristen. She's cute. She's cute. Why is she walking like that? Because very nice to meet you. We know the right here. I'm perky. I'm perky. She's probably she's show. probably wearing so like close to a pencil for? dress. Mm, I'm looking for a very funny man who's rugged. Yeah, you have heard it. Big lips for lots of kissing. And this woman's nose. looking for me. That doesn't oh, really matter. No, she's, no. <laughs> Bullshit. She's not no, you lost you. me on rugged anyway. Well, a uh, very funny man. Handsome guy. Who's so rugged? Get you to meet now. They're right up your alley. But like all of us, they probably have some baggage. <laughs> You're in trouble. I am. Okay, let's bring him on out. First, say hi to Adam. I'm not worried. Adam's a good looking dude. Adam, I'm from Australia. Yeah. I love snowboarding, oh, wakeboarding, mixed martial arts. I came to America following my dream. The only thing missing is my dream woman. This we guy is. Continue with the rest of the show. So this guy's a contender here. already. Like, let's meet. She you. heard. She heard the accent. Yeah. Hi, Kristen. I'm Peter. I'm a huge baseball fan. I'm very sensitive. I was very close with my mm -hmm. mother, so she taught me how to treat a lady. Uh -uh. If you pick me, I promise I'll always put you first. Mama's boy from Canada? No. Oh, they really want to go out with you. No, now Mama's boy from I Canada? Ron. You gotta love the Mama's boy. I am not a Mama's boy. Hey, Kristen. I'm Ron. I am a really loyal guy. My whole life, I only drove one car, rooted for one sports team. And I'm only looking for one girl. If you pick me, I will make sure you feel like you're the only person in the room. Ooh. I tell you what, though, one car. I tell you, he only has one dollar. <laughs> no, I'm one just car. Kidding. That I'm just this kidding. guy probably so, knows a bit about mechanics. Think? He has no money. I think they're very attractive. I don't. Okay, well, as you can see, these guys that's... brought see, a we're looking at it in different ways. This guy, bag, this guy's mechanically a personal prime. secret. Otherwise, he's only ever owned one car. Baggage. Now, of course, the bigger the bag, the bigger the baggage. This way, you'll know exactly what you're so getting far, when you choose one of them to the be Aussie boy is my pick. Right, so that's the idea of the game. It's time to reveal like your accent. smallest baggage. He's the only one that fits Start her now. profile outside of the funny part so far. I own 50. I love him! <laughs> <laughs> so He's my soulmate! You just 
just like the accent. <laughs> well, some are little, some are big, but here's the thing. They're very special dogs. I breed them. They're hypoallergenic so that people who have kids with allergies and disabled people can have their only dog that they can ever have. Uh, Peter. Jesus Christ. This guy's Mr. Fucking Perfect. I can't get a credit card. One, that shouldn't be a problem. But I'm sure there's a reason, right, Peter? Very irresponsible financially when I was younger, but I have a good job now. I'm trying to take care of it, getting ahead of things, and I pay for things with cash, so it works. And I call bullshit. <laughs> I call bullshit. Cash. Okay. Because well, you remember, know that's not how you repair your credit, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> long ago, we had to file well, this bankruptcy. going to be a great first yeah. day, Immediately man. after the bankruptcy okay. was awarded. Uh, Ron? Credit, credit card, card credit offer card, after credit, credit card, card, card offer. Yep. I make women shower before sex. Not a problem. Whoa. No. Not an issue. <laughs> Except for the word make. Do you also shower before good, sex? Good question. Kristen, I would never ask a woman to do anything before sex that I wouldn't do. I'm a very clean guy. I like to wash my hands often. I like to shower before sex. And I like to have the kind of sex that you want to shower before. Whoa! And after! Here's the good news, you'll both be in the shower at the same time. Oh, I don't you'll know. Never, you'll never get out of the shower. When we the come back... The guy in the middle is going home. It's our deal. Oh, he needs to. He needs to. We'll see what the guys are hiding in their medium-sized bags. Plus, we'll find out... I mean, it could be worse. He could just be... It could just say that he was from Quebec. Fuck that guy, he goes home no, immediately. Goes. I don't even, he doesn't even need, he doesn't even need to open the bag. Just, Quebec? You said Quebec? Get out of here. Hey, bye. Get out. Oh! Hey, Commercials! Hey guys, this is just my workout stuff. If you have a secret identity, you need to keep it secret. And if you want to save by bundling home and car insurance, I do like this you commercial, need Geico. You're still wearing a mask, dude. Now still here is the amazing, thrilling Ed Sullivan Show. From New York to your home, Pluto TV has all your favorite episodes of the Ed Sullivan Show. Featuring legendary wow. musical guests, Elvis Presley, The Beatles, The Temptations, The Beach Boy, classic comedians. Wait a minute. But catch your neck. Oh, Joan Rivers. The Ed Sullivan Show is now playing on the- I can see TV the Ed Sullivan Show where, uh, Where the doors played Bundle and Ed Plus Sullivan just showed time. Yes. Stream it all in because there was place. a specific lyric in the song uh, Light My Fire uh -huh. that they did not want them to sing. Paramount okay. Plus with Showtime. And they did it anyway. And when they flipped back to Ed Sullivan, he just had this scowl on his face after the performance. He was like, in the country. And they were banned from the Ed Sullivan show forever. Same thing with the Beatles. Drink or two. Beatles did the same thing. Oh yeah. Whoa. So it is, is out. your dad's a Wait. superhero. Secret headquarters. I have on action. Big on action. By the, guy, by the way, guys, this is uh, from uh, this, this video that we're watching. This is straight from Pluto TV. Um, it's a free, uh, it's free online. You can just sign up for it. If you guys are interested in any of the stuff that you're seeing here, by all means, go ahead and check it out. Paramount Plus. Spin the wheel, huh? buy a bell, and play Wheel of Fortune for? every day on Pluto TV. To, like, Join Pat and Vanna 24-7 for everybody's favorite game show. Wheel of Fortune now oh. playing Dude. on Pluto TV. Do you remember the biggest argument back in the day? Like in the 90s was like all the people from... We're, we're revealing like, your flaws. Never swap the, the people from Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy now, before because the break, we'll do Kristen zeros across the board in Jeopardy and these everybody will bags. solve the puzzle before a single Adam, letter has been chosen. We've got Adam, the collector with 15 dogs, and Peter, the guy caught in a credit crunch, and of course, Ron, who makes women shower before sex. Nah, Kristen, it's gotta it be Peter. It's time to decide which bag is Peter. an absolute deal breaker. Now, these medium-sized bags here are placed in Oh, that's right. Order. She gets to see the so second one first. No yes. Idea what guy goes <clears throat> in, what I swear to God, if I see a it's bag that says anything about underwear. Baggage. Bag number one. I have a small penis. I knew it. I have no penis. Oh. I am just quoting here. I mean... <laughs> 
I have oh, a small no, penis. You're, you, you're small than Adam. If this winds up on YouTube, I'm suing. It starts out as a peanut, ends up as I a, a small penis. <laughs> ends up as more than that. Bag number Thanks, two. Baby. I'm blessed. I don't believe in God. Same I thing don't with believe in God. Sixty percent of the rest of the United States at this and point. And that was a three. deal breaker. Deal, deal breaker. I pee in my there it is. Sink. There it is. That one. That guy's going home. That one. I pee in my sink. Don't do it. That guy's going home. Don't do but it. But at least this don't guy doesn't have to sink. be close to the sink. <laughs> You keep, okay, first of all, the guy that peed in the sink, there's no way it's what the guy that sh ha mm, does I'm showering before sex. I'm overwhelmed with thoughts, and um, no. I feel strongly about all of these pieces of baggage. What are we thinking here? It's the Australian. On each of the three, for That's example, how we do it in Australia. I pee in my sink. Well, I'm, of course, wondering why. Is, is there an emergency, or is he saving water? <laughs> I don't know. It's a little strange. I don't believe in God. Um, a lot of people don't. Well, a belief can be enhanced or changed, or I respect his values. Beliefs if, if cannot be he's, changed. Um, non-threatening about trying to change my beliefs, I would say. Good An idea can be changed, quoting, a belief cannot. People go to war over beliefs. I have a small penis. Yes. Um, well, that um, size d does matter. So, um, um, I feel uh, a little self-conscious about saying her. that, but you know, that, you know, that could be a problem. A small problem. <laughs> yeah. Ladies, let us know down in the comments. Does right, size matter or does size not matter? Which one I'm is curious. the deal breaker? I want to know definitively from we, our viewers, we'll does size matter? Okay, um, what are we talking? Jerry, the deal breaker what? is... Are we talking No, size? obviously, if you're going to go at it, you, you need... Whatever size you're hoping for, want, you're hoping that it's. Penis. I don't want something that's going to stab me through the head. million Americans are beside Yours themselves at this moment. Although I Guys, think you've reached my it is house. time to claim your baggage. I'm just saying. I'm sweating. Hi. You I'll, okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Might be having a heart attack. I don't know. Do you pound on your chest? <laughs> Restart. Oh. oh, I didn't like him anyway. He's I'm sorry, squirrely. Peter. He's Canadian. I guess I can call you Pete. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was, you know what? That was pretty good. Your bags and go. It's pretty good. That was good. I like that. Sorry, Pete. Sir. But we get to see what his largest bag was. Oh, yeah. We do. We do. Get six well, so far, I mean, so the guy's not on a great track record. But. Online dating service. So maybe they'll find somebody that can handle their baggage. Okay, so here we go, guys. What? Two of you remain. Adam, who... Oh, maybe we see that the commercial. And Ron, who doesn't believe in God. Now we're going to find out some more about you. Why don't you guys join me at the hot seat? What you didn't stick around to see was oh. that my penis is go. very small when it's sleeping, but when it's awake, I have never had any complaints. I would have aimed to please, and she's missing out on a really great catch, so. Oh, but we didn't to get to hear his big baggage. So we've got some baggage No, here, we don't get to hear his big baggage. Which, of course, is the point of the show. And but we did with the other. Honest and opening up. She, yes, we did. She opened it up, and she was like, this is my big have. baggage. Remember? I was she like, oh, that's no big you. deal. And one the other of the one first was way worse. She finds out about you is that you pee in I'm the right. sink. I'm right. And if I have to show you what's the, wrong with the you? other episode. Okay. You you've had a rough night out drinking with the boys. You've had a great time. You wake up in the middle of the night with a full bladder. The lights are out. You don't really know where you're going. Do you want to take a chance? And by the way, the ecological point, you do use less water. Straight down the sink, a lot less water. And you say you don't believe in God. I don't. But the first thing I want to say, Kristen, you look lovely in that dress. Oh, thank you. Quit and, kissing uh, her ass. I, uh, God made it. I would never not date somebody based on their beliefs. I respect everybody's beliefs. When I was 18 years old, I was living in Israel and got drafted into the Israeli army for three years. Yeah. I told them, you could draft me for three years, but you will not force me to believe in God. 
And so I still hold true to that. I well, have all I, the respect for somebody that's... I have a lot of faith in my life. It's a, it's a foundation for me, but if you were... I respect your decision, actually, now that I've heard your story. I feel that that's a logical way to handle that kind of situation. I respect hearing his story. I don't give a shit what it was. Tell us something positive about yourself. You're trying to... You, you want her to go out <laughs> with you. So, sell it. Well, Jerry, well, Kristen, I try to be as good in person as I am on paper. On paper, I got great numbers. I was a 4.0 valedictorian in college. I have almost as high a credit rating as you could possibly have in this economy. That's something rare. Yeah. And I scored a 96 out of a 99 on the U.S. Air oh, Force. We're doing better, by the way. We're at 758. Ooh, that's good numbers. But more importantly, in person, I'm an old school gentleman. I don't let women pick up bags. I know that you need to walk with a woman on the sidewalk between the street and the woman. And I open doors. You'll get bored with a guy who's a gentleman. <laughs> First of all, oh, here we go. I really here we go. That guys are always gentlemen anyway, because I wrote the book on all that garbage. Why should she pick you instead of Ron? Uh, you know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't pick me. Oh, I like Terrible. this approach. Yeah. So you got your attention. So you'll never be bored with me. That's why. <laughs> you will never be bored. You're a smart girl. Well, I'm a really ambitious goal setting person. I started out in my life. Um, coming from very humble beginnings, working really hard, and I looked around me and all the people that had the toys that I wanted had the money that it took to get those toys and they all owned real estate. So at 19 years old, I worked hard and I bought my first investment property when I was 19, became a landlord, so now I've got a half a dozen properties in three different states right here in the US. That's great. Building my empire. I, well, here's You the know what? Coming up. We're going to Back when this show aired, and that was big. Big bag. That was big. And don't forget, Kristen's got baggage too. If that guy, if is she if a he phone was tech smart. operator, or does she demand a prenup? She demands a prenup. Or did she lose half a million dollars in Las Vegas? She lost a half a million. We'll find out when we she come back. Prenup. She lost I say a half prenup. Million. I say it's a prenup. She lost a half million. Bet. What's the, what's the bet? I don't know. Because we got commercials. With GEICO, we can easily bundle home and car insurance and save even more. Yeah, just like that breakfast burrito. There isn't too I much hot sauce, is there? I have a sensitive That's what I'm saying. What's I the bet? Like hot sauce. I said uh, she's doing prenup. You said she lost $500,000. You should animals in the morning outside. Geico. Spin the wheel. If I will. And play Wheel of Fortune every day on Pluto TV. Oh, that's the animals and the animals inside. Join yep. Pat and Vanna 20 And then same for you. You take care of all the animals. Yeah. The other person just gets to sleep in. Deal. Deal. The secret is out. Your dad's a superhero. Secret headquarters is big on laughs. Check this out. And big on action. A fun adventure for all ages. Is it though? That does sound cool. Do you think a 90-year-old would enjoy this? My kids. An entertaining ride for I think kids so. and adults. We're gonna have my. You want to see it again? Yes. 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 He's over there. I can get this. By the way. Secret headquarters. Rated PG. Now streaming on Paramount really? Plus. Okay. Bundle Paramount Plus with Showtime. Wait, you can do. Stream it all in one place. Oh, what? I have Paramount. I have something. Stream Paramount yeah. Plus with Showtime. Just seven ninety nine. I'll look it up. No, we have Peacock. Oh, gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this way down so that they don't have to worry about hearing it while while we're having our discussion. That's a lot of freaking ads. Yeah. Well, I mean, how else? How else do you think? A free service pays for itself. Oh, God, I missed the Bernie Mac show. What a great guy. Mr. 3000 is still one of my favorite baseball movies. I mean, it's Major League, and then Mr. Baseball, and then that, as far as the comedy baseball movies go. Chance at romance despite your and then, well, Kristen's got a big decision. If we're right talking serious baseball, I'm going with the natural. The sink tinkler with 15 dogs, or Ron, the atheist who believes in shower power. <laughs> gentlemen, it's time to. I feel like neither one of these two gentlemen are wearing clothing that's with you, that fits Adam. properly. Yeah. I expect my girlfriend to cook She's out. and clean for me. She's out. She's out. Who well, that would be me? Mm -hmm. She's out. I would do that. Really find right, that but and, to say that um, I, I expect it. Or clean unless it's, you know, Saturday night, date night. 
um, I have a problem with, with, with that baggage. That's pretty intense. She's got a point. It's kind of really old-fashioned to say that, no? Yeah. What I'm saying here oh. is old-fashioned to the point where the connection is stronger because the roles are more defined. The king and the queen type oh. role. I think this is actually a really good trait. Adam, kings and queens have servants. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa. I can provide these for you, my love. Oh. I can hire people, is what he's saying. Yeah. Oh, there's that was very geek Show clapping. Baggage. Yeah. My longest relationship <laughs> lasted three weeks. That's terrifying. I, I, I can't imagine that you have gotten this far in life with um, only three weeks of uh, proof time, and it's very concerning how you can't get to know someone in three weeks. I know, I know some people well, like that. The most important thing to know about me is that I've never had a girlfriend that I've been in love with. It's a gut thing, love is, and you don't want to waste a whole relationship with somebody you're not in love with. You know, I, I have to agree the with this mentality. The three week barrier. Dude, okay, I, I know that this is already running on for a little while. <laughs> I know. But I, I, have to, I have to say this. The idea of long-term dating is antiquated. Yep. Um, I think it's useless. If you're with somebody and there's not, like, the con it, like if you've been with them even for a short time and there's not that connection. That fire. But not just the fire. Like, if you, if you, listen, if you're dating somebody and you look at them and you cannot imagine being with them for the rest of your life, the whole point of continuing to date that person on an intimate level is mute. Is, it's not mute, moot, moot, moot. It's pointless. It makes yeah. no sense to do it. If you're in a relationship right now and you look over at the person, Listen, if I break up a marriage here, I'm sorry, but apparently it just wasn't meant to be. But if you're dating somebody right now and you look over at them and you cannot picture being with that person day in and day out for the rest of your life, end it. End it. Because from this point forward, all you're doing is either A, trying to change yourself to be with that person or B, trying to change that person to meet the requirements that you're looking for. Yep. The world doesn't end because you reach a certain age and no. you're still not with somebody. That's not how it works. Like, look at Grampy. Yeah. Look at Grampy and Hippie Chicks. Yeah. Like, just absolutely head over heels in love with head each other. They were heels. both married to other people. They were unhappy with their marriages for decades. Decades. Found each other, knew immediately, this is the person I want to be with for the rest of my life. And they made it happen. And they made it happen. I didn't know that she was the one that I wanted to be with. She did. It wasn't until I was gone and didn't have contact with her for a whole year. Because, Miss, I know your parents' phone number, but can't figure out a way to figure out your address or your phone number. Still fucking bull calling bullshit. Huh? She continued to pursue me, thankfully, but that year of not being in contact with her made me realize that I had missed out on the greatest thing that I had and that I should have stayed with her and that I should have asked her out at some point in time. And the moment we got together, from day one, from day one, we day were one. like, this is forever. We dated for 28 days, just, and we say that just because we were together for 28 days. Yeah. So we just say we dated for 28 days. But, but we, we already we were, Yeah, we were together for the next 28 days. I, I even told her, I was like, I've never asked you to marry me. And she said, you don't have to. And if it wasn't it's for having to move to a new duty station in the military and be deployed, we would, would have been married within the month. But instead, we had to wait. We got married... Three three months three later, months four later. months later, four months yeah. later, we got married. July, four, August. It was July. Five months. Yeah. Okay. So five months later, we got married, and we've been married. It'll be twenty five years this November. So, believe me, fighting to make a relationship work should not have to happen. It shouldn't. 
you should you should know you, by looking at the other person, and the other person should be looking at you the same way. If you're not both doing that, it's not the right relationship. Move yeah. on, find somebody else, stop wasting your time, stop wasting their time, and continue just to... You're going to run into the person. Dating apps aren't going to be it. Finding somebody on TikTok isn't going to be it. Yes, it does work for some people, but you're talking minuscule percentages, like 0.005% chance of it finding that way. Just go out, live your life, have a good time, and the right person will will be there when it's time for them to be there. And you'll know it. You'll know it. So that's my advice to anybody out there as far as relationships. Sorry. Sorry, I got on a rant. Uh, as, as the wife says, I get talkative when I drink wine. Oh, God. I'm passionate about this. I love you. I love you. And now it's time for your, your final plea. Why should Kristen choose you, Adam? Kristen, in the three weeks that it takes for you and Ron to actually break up, <laughs> your head will still be spinning with the experience with me. We won't even have landed on the ground yet. We'll be flying around, having an incredible time. And as I said earlier, you're a smart woman and you need to be challenged by someone who can keep you on your toes. And even though this guy's good on paper, I think I've shown you who can do the walking in that department. Ron, huh. why should Chris what do you think? pick you? Kristen, I don't want you to be thrown off by the three weeks. Him. I am really, really good at getting to know somebody. I'm very trusting and trustworthy. I open up more easily than most guys you'll ever meet. And I want He's probably been broken up with. Well. Yeah. I want to know if I'm in love within with three weeks most of the time because a lot of women feel so intimidated a by a guy time. that it's is very open, probably. honest, and straightforward. Oh, yeah. cliche. This guy might have some skeletons. What ever other choose. people would say is skeletons in his Adam closet, and he's just open about it, and that kind of freaks yeah. people out. It's like, hey, they all broke up with me. I still think that's going to be the, that's going to be the drop in the hat. Yeah. women shower before sex, doesn't believe in God, and whose longest relationship lasted three weeks. Kristen, it's time to send one of these guys packing. She's going to send the Australian home. Yep. I mean, that's the nail in the coffin, but I feel like she had a problem with the number of dogs he's got, too. Really? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, you have too much baggage. Whoa! Oh. I'm sorry, Ron, but you're going to have to pack up and go. I am what? fucking surprised. You, I think she's looking at this other guy for the money. But whoa, don't get too happy too quickly. We still have one more bag to open. And that's Kristen's. And I'm sure this guy's already heard all the baggage and he's going to be like, I don't give a shit. After learning the secret she's been hiding in that big red bag. My biggest question. Operator, does she demand a prenup? It's the prenup. Or did she lose half a million dollars in Las Vegas? I've listened to her. She shouldn't be a phone sex operator. She does not have a sexy voice. It's, it's, no, it's half a million dollars so, in Vegas. Here's the thing. This guy's already heard her baggage. He doesn't give a shit about any of it. He he doesn't care about any of the any of her baggage. Like none. Oh, that was hummus. Oh, I love me a good garlic hummus. What she? Oh, I love that commercial. What's that? He said I love well, they, that. But they can't hear it. I turned the volume way down. Oh. I mean, the commercials Sorry. are repeating and so on and so forth. So just to let you guys know, this lady switched out his hummus for something healthier, and she loves him and blah blah blah. up delicious four course meals to feed a hungry family tell me that does not look delicious so good all for thirty dollars oh my goodness in just 30 minutes there you go Fast spencer's big 30 on this flavor. channel you... spencer's big 30 i want it you don't want it oh my god how many times are we gonna have to watch this movie tra listen we already said we'd watch it do we not we already said we'd watch we it 
Okay, so we're getting ready to get into the final stretch here. It is warm in here tonight, right? It is. Is the AC not kicking on? It is. It's fine. Actually, oh, he's hungry. It's fine. We'll feed the baby here. And... Is that? <laughs> no. Come with me. People are desperate to belong to something and to what? find magic. Feed the baby. You're gonna run and feed the baby? You better hurry up, you only got like 10 seconds. Less than that, it's already back on. See, you missed your chance. Here we go. Welcome back to Baggage, where Welcome back to your baggage. shortcomings could lead to a long relationship. You see, our dater Kristen has just chosen Adam here for a romantic date. But Adam hasn't chosen Kristen yet because he doesn't know the secret inside her bag. Is Kristen a phone sex operator? Or he he wouldn't care. Prenup? That's money. Or did she he cares about that because he's got money. Vegas. He also cares about Adam, that because he's got those money. those possibilities, what is the biggest baggage for you? Chosen. Don't say the phone so sex Weighing operator. Weighing everything up and keeping it in perspective, I'd say it has to be the prenup. That would be the biggest issue for you. Because he's got money. Because? because well, first of all, if she lost a half a million in Vegas, it means she had a half a million to lose, which means she may have another half a million somewhere. Good. So that's all right. Good thinking. All right. So to be serious, the prenup thing, yeah. it means that she doesn't have a vision and a faith in the future. Kristen? She doesn't trust her partner to... Show us your baggage. Oh. <laughs> Boom! Demand a prenup. Oh, I'm sleeping in tomorrow! Mm -hmm. Woo! That was a big problem for you. That was because it, it shows a lack of belief in that future. I'm about to come into a lot of money. I'm very blessed and lucky, but she wants a prenup so that she can uh, keep her own money. That I am loved for who I am and not for the family's money. But the prenup, Adam, doesn't guarantee that either. It's time for your decision. Well, um, Based on the uh, substantial baggage that I put you through earlier on. He's going to be fine with it. And yeah. I commend you for handling all of that so well. I accept your baggage. <laughs> of course he do. Of course you do. Now, she's, now he's got money. Now she's got even more money. What I want to know is, are these couples still together? I can tell you that. Remember, like, how long did it last? The question is, yeah. how much can you handle for a chance at love? We'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. All right, so that was Baggage. Uh, episode one, season one. Yep. Um, again, if you guys, if you guys want us to watch keep another one, one, if you guys want us to keep doing comments. Couples React to Baggage, by the way, I've been spot on two out of two games with what the final baggage is. I can just read these women. The first one, I read the guy. I knew what his was. Okay. I, I figured out hers. I figured out hers from the very first time it popped up. Yeah, prenup. Prenup. So I get to sleep in. But the video that says upvote or the, the comment that's pinned... That says, up, upvote this comment if you want us to watch or react to another baggage video. It needs 20 upvotes for us to do another one. Yep. Um, we have another newlywed game that we got to do. And I'm sorry for those of you that are here for the horror game content. We just, we really we kind of been... We have time for that. The horror games take a little bit more time. They take a little bit more editing. And we're trying to find the right one that's not like a series where it's like three hours long to play through and that's kind of like what we've got left is like all these like three or four hour long yep uh playthrough games so please bear with us i know a lot of you guys are enjoying the the couples react uh videos so i just want to say Hi. from me thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you guys for being a part of this and and being with us on our journey look at this this is this is our obs watch this <laughs> wow stop doing that oh god where'd it go oh no I dropped our OBS. What did you do? No, it's still here. I'm just joking. <laughs> but, um, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for being part of this journey with us. We're having a great time filming these videos for you guys. And, um, Angel, do you got anything you want to say before we, before we go? Be nice to everyone.
We love our faces. Thank you for being here. Be good to one another. Take care of yourselves and make sure that you look at yourself in the mirror every day and tell yourself, I'm good. Till next time, sayonara. Goodbye.